Hello, I hope you twin flames are doing well today. I wanted to touch bases with you guys. Um, I'm going to shuffle some cards here to get a spiritual message here. Um, Father God, the anointing of the Holy Ghost, the Son. Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, if you could come in right now, Lord. And give us a clear spiritual message that you want to relay to us. Um, I wanted to give a message over, you know, this twin flame journey and so forth or whatever. Um, it's so weird how people, whatever, you know, you'll spend your money to go... go trying to pursue a relationship that could even be a relationship that God did not put together. That could be very much well so a karmic relationship as well. And, you know, you guys go and y'all pay money to receive readings or whatever and y'all do all these things for these readings and so forth and you know getting fed all these stories in a circle or whatever and if you're not believing in God like things don't happen for you if they're not putting spell work on people to bring them towards you then things don't happen for you. If they're not, you know, casting spells to get this person to want to be with you, you have to understand that it wasn't done in the right way. It wasn't done naturally. So I don't care if that person leaves someone else and come and be with you for a little bit. Eventually, God will make that person see the light. And that person will leave you anyways. I don't care if you use spell work to get them to come to you or to be with you. It's not going to last. And you better hope that it doesn't, you know, get to the point to where someone gets hurt in, in the midst of it. Because anything that isn't done naturally under the anointing of the Holy Ghost or from God or whatever, it, it's not going to last. It's not made to last because all of those things are karmic things as well. And so uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about that or whatever. Um, Y'all go and get these readings and, you know, then I see people up on people's or, you know, uh, readings saying, you know, when is he coming? You said, and da 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 And then they start telling you, they start feeding you one lie after the other, after the other. Well, uh, energies change and so forth and so forth. God says, if you allow man to deceive you, I will deceive you as well. So a lot of you guys have been deceived, tricked, and... Uh, you know, made out to be, I'm telling you guys, it starts with God. Your spiritual union, your spiritual connection, it starts with God. And if you're putting anyone before God, you're not going to, even if you're in a, a some type of connection, it's not going to last. If you're putting that person before God, it's not going to last either. So, you know, I know that people is not going to like me and I'm going to lose subscribers and so forth and so forth. But I'm here to help you. I want to help you. I want to help you back to God. I want to help you back to yourself. I want to help you love yourself. I want to help you recognize who is behind all of this trail of karmic cycles of lies that people are feeding you to make you think that you're in on in and on a spiritual journey waiting on this masculine that may never come unless you do unless they bribe you into doing some type of spell work paying for spell work getting magic put on someone or something like that 
that's the only way these people in the karmics or whatever yes they're practicing and doing all this stuff but what gets me is the people that's in this room on this journey that's pretending that they're like holy like they're pure as gold like they're pure as uh pure as you know and you knowing that you're not you're knowing you're pure evil you're pure evil for feeding people lies and leading them on with these card readings bringing up the universe and astrologies giving them all this information that you know that isn't true that these people have to seek God for everything you know and I'm getting sick of it I know that people is going to get mad at me they're not going to you know but if you really really want the truth then stay tuned in you will get the truth and eventually you will from our prayers coming together you will get your connection with your masculine if you're a true divine spiritual part counterpart so you know if you want to continue to be fed these lies and you want to stay blinded from you know card reading after card reading them saying that the karmic is holding on to them they're doing black magic they're doing how do you know that this karmic is doing black magic maybe that's a lie as well maybe this uh person that you are thinking is your counterpart your spiritual partner is not even your partner and the reason why god called you to this 1111 room was to get you healed from your unhealed childhood traumas so that he could bring in your husband that he had for you, your bow ass, your, uh, you know, your divine counterpart, your king, your, uh, you know, um, Mandingo warrior. You know, that's what, that's the God that we serve. This universe, God made everything in this universe. And you people are getting way over your head in buying these readings, these uh, people going and pulling energies. They're doing this stuff to keep you going on and on and on. And when they know themselves that they need healing, they need to go back to the cross. They need to heal their unhealed childhood wounds. They're over here giving readings and some of the energies that's being pulled off the cards is theirs that's falling up in these readings that is to do with them and the person that they're connected with. Because after so long, if you just keep giving readings and readings and readings and readings every day and so many readings, your energy starts to get all over the place and everyone's energy is connected within where no other energy can come forth but your own. You know, and and it's your own spirit that's jumping off all the way through this YouTube connection, YouTube media. Okay, I don't care who gets mad at me or whatever. Tell the truth. If you're going to sell these people a dream, sell them the truth or whatever. You know, you got people that's being really deceived in this room. Get in these card readings. Keep on with this cycle going on and on and on. And they're very unaware. You're in a karmic cycle from even believing in deceit. From lies that's getting read off of tarot cards. That's a whole karmic cycle in itself. So why would you pay for something like that when you can pay and donate to someone that's giving you the truth? No, because you're blinded. You don't want to know the truth. You don't want to see the truth because you don't want to love yourself. You don't want to go back to God. You don't want to surrender. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to love yourself. You, you're, you're looking for love in another person and you're going to pay whatever it costs to try to think you're getting closer or to this divine masculine or divine femme that's never going to come until you surrender to the Lord thy God and give your whole self to God. And that's what that is. And, you know, I know people's going to get mad at me. Okay, it's this card. It's the light has come. 
and then it's this one it says today the time of light begins for you and everyone it is a new era in which a new world is born the old one has left no trace upon it in its passing today we see a different world because the light has come and this is where God is telling us, you know, every day is a new day for you to change your mind, to change your mindset, to change uh, the way you think, to change the way you act, to change the way you operate, to surrender to him, to surrender to him. When they tell you to surrender to the connection, they're not telling you it means to go surrender to the most high God. Sur surrender to God so that he could give you surrender to God and his kingdom so everything else can be added to you. That's to do with your so-called purpose in the life and your life and to do with your purpose and will that's in the Lord. They're not telling you you have to surrender, go reconcile with God, come into union with him so he can give you your spiritual partner. They're not telling you that because why they want to keep you blinded. Okay, my holiness shines bright and clear today. In this world, you can become a spotless mirror in which the holiness of your creator shines forth for you to forth from you to all around you. You can reflect the heaven here on earth. Okay, that's what that says. Okay. And I can be but myself, I crucify. I can be but myself, I crucify. You have no idea of the tremendous release and deep peace that comes from meeting yourself and your brothers totally without judgment. Okay, it's people here. This right here, God is telling me it's people in this room that, you know, is hiding their childhood wounds. It's divine films that's calling themselves divine films, playing and acting as so that nothing have ever occurred or happened in their life that was bad. That they haven't been molested. They haven't been raped. They wasn't abused. They wasn't, you know, mistreated, you know. And they're trying to hide it, not realizing when you come into a spiritual uh, connection and on this journey, no one should be judging anyone. Everyone should be able to feel free of what they have have occurred in their life that caused them to be so hurt, that caused them to be so codependent, to be looking for a partner to fulfill that emptiness that we're suffering from on the inside. Okay, then I am entrusted with the gifts of God. You can wait, delay, paralyze yourself, or reduce your creativity almost to nothing. But you cannot abolish it. Okay? Guys, you know, I'm not trying to hurt anyone's feelings. I know that. You know, subscribers may leave, but if you want to keep listening to the lies, then so be it. I'm not going to lie anymore about this spiritual journey. I've been on it for three years. God had already started showing me people already know what's going on. And if you guys want to continue to live in misery and continue on with these karmic cycles of thinking that you're paying for readings to see what's going on with the masculine and these karmics. You're going to be deceited. De uh, they're going to deceive you. you you're, you're not going to be going into no union until you go into a union with God. This spiritual connection, the real divine counterparts, it start with God. You got to come into a spiritual union with God. Okay, guys, if you don't mind, if you would like and subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. God bless and have a great day.